We're now moving on to um, uh, the situations where we're moving into magnetic fields. We're thinking about how to flux linkage changes, and we're looking at the EMF induced in a coil or the graph. So this one looks kind of like this. So here's your flux linkage. Uh, N5 for flux linkage, of course. That's link. Yeah, that's uh, sorry. That's flux. That's flux linkage with the N. And uh, we're seeing how that affects. Uh, how that's affected by time. That should be a dotted line. It's clearly not. It's not going well. There's T naught. So the basically the question is how does the EMF change as time goes on? Well, we've got this straight line here, and then we've got this completely horizontal line. Uh, and it's a fairly straightforward question considering. Uh, because we're given the equation for the EMF generated, the EMF uh, is equal to minus, and it's minus because of Lenz's law, n, and then delta phi by delta t, and that n of course can be up there. So really, it's just basically saying it's the negative of the gradient of the graph. So between t and t naught, we've got a constant uh, gradient because we've got a straight line there, and so we're going to have a constant EMF. So the gradient is constant, so the EMF is constant, so we start off between T and T0 with a constant um, EMF being generated. Okay, well, that's given us our answer straight away, it should be B. Let's just check that. The second part here, we've got a completely flat line, the gradient is therefore zero, so the EMF is zero, which is exactly what it says in option B. The EMF becomes zero after time T0. So we have constant EMF, zero EMF, the answer of 22 is going to be B.